see, sometimes it's the simple things, like having faith. So here's how to have faith in three easy steps. Neville Goddard said, faith is loyalty to the unseen reality. It's loyalty to the unseen reality. Every wish has its own plan and power for fulfillment. It's built in. You don't have to amp up. You don't have to recharge. You don't have to adjust your vibration. Every, every wish has its own plan. The power's built in. See, you're the power and the operant power. Your desires are divine in origin. Faith is loyalty to the unseen reality. We did a show this past week. We did two, actually. One was about sleeping in the state of the wish fulfilled. The other one was the one right next to it. I forget what it was called. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Go check them out at feelitrealfun.com because in there, too, we talk about when you assume a state, you fall asleep in it. You don't force it. You don't maintain it. You don't align with it. You fall asleep in it. What you are is God having the adventure of a lifetime. I keep saying that. Neville said man's faith in God is measured by his confidence in himself. I notice this. How curious are you? I'm not a fan of confidence, by the way. Because I see it's been just horribly contaminated the way most people try to get confident about things. See, I notice people who are curious, they have real confidence. Just to be curious, to step out a little bit, to stretch, to peek around the corner. You gotta have what it takes. And you gotta know it. Faith is loyalty to the unseen reality. See, right around the corner from where I'm sitting, there's something. Am I gonna go peek? Am I curious? Am I anticipating what's around the corner? Or am I just not looking? I am not going to look at 3D reality. I'm going to ignore it because I know it's still there. You know, when people teach that, that's insane. See, you turn your back to the lions like Daniel did. But what that doesn't mean is you don't pretend it's not there. You turn your faith, you turn your face to God. To you. Your faith in God is measured by your confidence in yourself. I notice confidence is very easily measured by noticing how curious someone is. Be curious. Allow yourself to discover curiousness because here's the antidote for faith. In other words, here's what, see what kills faith? Are you having to try to figure out how am I going to pull this off? How's it going to happen? Because the hows always lead to the whens. When's it going to happen? I can... You get to stop all that. You get to stop all that. End your addiction to the howls, and you end your terrifiedness. Most people are actually terrified. It's when's it going to happen? I get so many emails from people that are terrified because they're terrified it's not going to happen. And when it does, it's, it's a big deal. You see, here's what I notice. Your faith in God is measured by your confidence in you. Faith is loyalty to the unseen reality. I put the food in the pot, I turn the pot on, it turns into warm food. We were talking in one of the groups about soup. You know, when you put the ingredients in the pot and you turn it on, you're not waiting for the soup or the stew, you're letting it become soup or stew. I got this new air fryer thing. My buddy Mal turned me on to it. Oh my God, Mal. <laughs> you know how much you've ruined me. I love this air fryer thing. It's absolutely amazing what all it does. It's a slow cooker, pressure cooker, air fryer. I can sizzle things in it. It's got a griller. It's got everything all in one little container. It's, it's the most awesome piece of kit I have ever cooked with. And you know, to buy it, it was a couple hundred bucks. I got the accessory pack. I think it was about 350 bucks. I think that's more than I've ever spent on anything for a kitchen. You know? 
Historically, I'm a fry pan kind of guy. But Mouse said it's good. And I said, all right. <laughs> so I got one. And you see, I eagerly anticipated its arrival, and I eagerly anticipate cooking with it pretty much every day now. <laughs> pretty much every day. We just feed what we're doing to that. It's lovely. God, the salmon with the skin on. Mm, talk about crispy and yum. Perfecto. <sighs> Meanwhile, faith is loyalty to the unseen reality. Are you loyal to your soup? Are you loyal to bread? You see, bread, flour, water, sugar, yeast. All right, maybe a pinch of salt. I used to add a little tiny bit of maple syrup. Mm, 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 mm. Just a tiny bit. But there comes a point where the ingredients become dough, and there's a point where the dough becomes bread. It's magical. One more. You're the dreamer. Dreaming the dream. Dream nobly. Because it's so easy. It's so delightful. Faith is loyalty to the unseen reality. Your awareness of being is God. How you are aware of anything being in your life is how it shows up. It's time for you to become curious. Drop the winds. Drop the hows. Just become curious. Just become curious. And by the way, people ask, curious about what? What can you be curious about? If you're not concerned about the winds and you're not concerned about the house. See, I'm curious about what's around the corner. Because every day before I get up, 5 to 10, 6 to 12, my Joseph Goddard method. Plus, every day I put you know, other buns in the oven too. More long-range kind of things. Some long-lasting kind of things. Some wouldn't that be cool now kind of things. See, I don't know what's around the corner. All I know is there's, I guarantee there's goodies. I don't know which ones come first. I don't know who gets to play their part. All I know is it's a lot of fun. Become curious about which one shows up next. Which one you get to enjoy now. So if you got some gold today. By the way, you may have noticed Manifesting Mastery Course Week 1. We destroy, we demolish triggers. Triggers are the opposite of this. Triggers are all about being terrified about what just popped up from around the corner. Ugh. The girls giggled. The young boy turned around in the line. There's so many ways. Week one is really about a functional mental diet. It's not about what most people think, by the way. Anyway, manifestingmasterycourse.com, $97. 90-day program. That's like a dollar a day. It takes about 15 minutes. You notice we are into killing excuses. Because excuses kill your dreams. Walk away from them. Choose excellence. Manifestingmasterycourse.com For the sharers, those who share the shows, those who share their lives with us. Sharing is caring. We love hearing from you. I answered probably about 20 emails this morning from Manifestingmasterycourse.com members. Just tiny little things. This is what's cool. We get to celebrate and share in your wins, your successes, your shifts, offer a little guidance. And we get to know you. And for those who share the show, the podcast, the articles, thanks, gang. We really appreciate that. Somebody shared something and you got to listen to this. Be the blessing. See ya.